Hello everyone, welcome back once again. My name is Nick, it's always Nick, I haven't changed it by Depot or anything. We're on the ZX Spectrum, what am I going on about? Well, same old guff. Uh, we're looking at Cuddly Cubert, published by Interceptor Software in 1983, a game that also came out on the Commodore 64. It's an isometric game, which you probably recognise, because it's an arcade port of Cubert from Gottlieb in 1982, the classic one there. We previously reviewed uh, another slight conversion of this game called QB from Chad Software the year afterwards, which is largely unplayable. So we'll see how this one uh, works. Basically, we need to jump on all the uh, squares in this pyramid to change them to a different colour. I've died already. Do all that, you're on to the next stage. Now, I always struggle with the controls on this, up, down, left, and right. Uh, there's lifts, E, oh, I've is that the whole game? Right, see, I've just gone through all my lives in a matter of one sentence I was talking to you. There's lifts either side, we can jump on those to try and escape the enemy, but uh, it looks like, just like the other, um, you know, uh, conversion QB, it looks like it's very tough to get away from the enemy straight away. Keyboard controls could be a little bit better, but let's try and persist with this. If you had this back in the day, let me know. Right, okay. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm finding this very awkward again. Ag um, Cuba was also converted for the Atari 2600, which we covered. Works a bit like this. Mm. I don't think I'm ever going to get off level one, but it's one of these games where you need a bit of persistence. How am I going to get a review out of this? I've already had two goes, and literally, I don't think I've been playing it even about two minutes. So, um, on later stages, a snake will come after you, but uh, at the moment, I'm just trying to avoid these bouncy balls. Yes, if you're trying to avoid bouncy balls, then comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. So, it's about reviewing all the games we possibly can. The hard-to-play ones, the easy ones, uh, the exciting ones, and the terribly poor ones. Uh, this one would have frustrated me silly, but to be fair, like quite a lot of conversion of Q-Birds, it might be that I'm just a bit rubbish at the game. There's uh, probably a tactic for avoiding this. Uh, say it again! Oh my god, I'm utterly, utterly hopeless! Not expert gameplay always, it's just seeing how you would have got on your first or second go, and man, I would not have persisted uh, with this thing. Anyway, at least I've got a few levels on the Tire 2600 version. Uh, this one they seem to be after, look at that, they're after you straight away. Romeo, oh there we go, that's a bit better. Oh man, and I jumped into the thing. Can he get off level one? Place your bets here. Uh, thank you to people that subscribe to the channel, there's thousands of videos up now, if you want to go through those and get me the watch time. Um, I'm a bit better at most of the other games, but uh, Cuba, you know. Spelled C-U-B-U-R-T, the arcade is, is Q asterisk B-E-R-T. So they're completely different fellows, completely different games. And this is back in a time where you can get away with these ports conversions without having to buy some sort of like ridiculous silly license money. Why bother with that? Yes, um, commercialism has come forward a lot since this sort of like uh, point. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum games we review, they're all in the playlist. To get there, click on the username. My username, not yours, it won't get you anywhere. Click on my username, takes to the channel page, game over dude. Uh, then there'll be the playlist tab, click on that, ZX Spectrum will be there. Along with a load of other stuff, you want to click on that. Right, boo ba doo ba doo I'm not going to get anywhere on this. So, this game, graphically okay. Sound, well, okay for the system. It's 1983, so it's quite early. Playability, I would say, poor. Better conversions are available. So do check out the review of QB, C U B E Y. Um, that's probably even more frustrating than this one. Oh man, put your favourite, it doesn't, doesn't matter what system, let's open it up everywhere. Put your favourite um, version of Cuba below. Which ones are the most difficult? Which ones are the most easy? Um, you don't want it too easy, of course. Um, Cuba was to uh, influence quite a lot of these uh, games where not necessarily always in a pyramid. Uh, where you just dance around, uh, they're sometimes top down. Uh, Pippo, I think, was one as well. Where you dance around, changing the uh, tiles on the floor to a different colour, uh, and then that gets you to the next stage. Uh, this pyramid isometric, um, you know, you need, do need to get used to controls, so you can get disorientated quite, quite quickly. Right, let's have a few more goes. Maybe there'll be a breakthrough. I'll try and use the lifts if I can. Yeah, see, I've fallen off the map. Don't fall off the map. The problem with this one is, which makes it unforgiving, is they shouldn't have done that. When you lose a life, you have to start right from the beginning again. They should have um, left what you've done so far, and then you could try and get to the rest. So that's what makes it very, very unforgiving. The way that even your three lives, lose one life, you have to start right from the scratch again. Don't like that idea whatsoever. That would annoy me silly as a kid. So I should have fixed that. 
I like games that are fun to play. I mean, there were quite a lot of Zelda Spectrum games, Spectrum games that were impossible to complete, but at least there was a fun aspect to that. Like, the classic example is Jet Set Willy, where there's about uh, over a hundred rooms. I was never going to complete that, but I just liked exploring and, um, you know, spent so many hours um, going all over the place. That and Jet Set Willy 2, particularly like the Rocket Room. Uh, games like this, it's a single screen, so you can't go too far, but I, I'm finding it hard to love the thing because I'm not actually getting anywhere. And that music, do 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 do. It's like it's like I mean, taunted in the playground. Uh, someone's pointing at me, saying you 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 you're rubbish or something, right? Yeah, do do do. I mean, one of you might comment on this that um, you was good at it straight away, and uh, I'm playing like a nincompoop. Well, you know, this is nincompoop play. Boo boo doo. Big thank you to the members that are keeping this thing on the road. Uh, um, so yeah, I know. At some point we're gonna. I'd imagine we're going to get to 2,000 Z Spectrum games reviewed. I'd imagine we're going to get to that at some point. If you played the Commodore 64 version, I just jumped straight off the map. If you played the Commodore 64 version of this, then let me know in the comment section below. Is it easier to play, or is it more or less the same? Q Bird, eh? He's uh, he's known for his uh, swearing. Doesn't do too much swearing in this game. Uh, he's cuddly. Does he look cuddly? I mean, he doesn't look that cuddly to me. I think Cantankerous Cubert might have been the uh, the one. Use a flashy disc to escape from. Yeah, right. Okay. It does look very cuddly. I'd uh, I'd like to see Horace Horace in a Cubert game. I mean, it played more or less the same. But uh, yes, I would have moved on now. I would have reset this. I would have loaded up Attic Attack or some other game, which is a lot more fun. Da, da, da. One of the Wally Week games that was good for exploration as well. A bit of Wally Week in. Um, yeah, so that, they're my favourite sort of games, really. Them and racing games, where you, racing games you could um, didn't have to read the instructions too much. Generally, it was just to speed up, slow down, uh, left and right. Sometimes it was a uh, manual gears to make it a little bit more complicated. But yeah, I could just sit down and de-stressing. For me, even now, it's what it's all about, just de-stressing. These games where you're not getting very far, and then you've got a haunted tune taunting you uh, at the end. I'm not a great big uh, fan of q -Bird, but to be fair, I didn't really play Cuba a lot in the arcades, if at all. So, you know, maybe you need that in your background, because the games you played early on as a kid gave you at least half a chance uh, later on. But uh, as usual, your reflexes seem to get a bit slow as an adult, so the kids are good at the games, and you're a bit rubbish. Uh, I think the secret is to use those lifts, maybe, and uh, work your way down gradually. But it's game over again. Da, 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 da. I, I don't think there'll be too many, I might be wrong, I don't think there'll be too many, don't put links, I don't think there'll be too many videos on on YouTube of, of, of a gameplay that goes on forever on this. This might be one of the longer ones, and I, I don't plan to go much longer than 10 minutes, that's uh, sort of like the minimum you aim to try and get the view out of. Just so, see if I can get any better of it, see if my first impressions change as I'm playing it. Oh, I'm doing a bit better here. Hmm. I seem to be getting a little bit further, uh, to, be, to be fair, fair the game, so I get used to the uh, controls, but I don't think I'm going, I don't think I'm going to complete the thing. Uh, it seems like uh, the ball's after you straight away, so as long as you, as soon as you fought the, the first two, it seems to give you a bit of extra um, time, so that's what I've learnt then. Just use the lifts early, uh, and then work your way down the pyramid, and don't try to be a hero, Nero. If you're gradually working your down, way down a pyramid, uh, turning squares to a different colour by jumping on them, then comment on the comment section, comment section below, what, why are you doing that for? Game over again. How many times have we seen game over now? I think I think that tune's going to be um, engraved in my, on my brain. I think every time I do something wrong throughout the whole of the day, that tune's going to go. Oh, I've dropped a teapot. I've fallen down a well. Add your own one. Add your own one below. A pigeon's flown into my head. Yes. Anyway. Um, I've got on the wrong bus and it's gone to hell. Oh, come on, Cubert, cuddly Cubert. Um, I wonder if all the Cuberts meet up. They might meet up at a party at the end of the day. Lots of cloning going on. Oh, man. Ah! I'm going to hear that, that tune forever, Trevor. Right, one last go and then I'm out of here. I'm not, not going to. I don't think much, too much is going to happen. Right, use the lifts. This is my pattern. Right, that's the top bit done. 
Oh no! Collision detection. It just uh, oh well done. I think I committed carry carry then. It's just uh, the nearest of touches and you're doomed. Right. Uh, I've got a cheap poke for this, but it's not immunity. It's infinite lives, and that won't do me any good if you're starting from the back beginning again. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, quite an annoying um, uh, conversion. Um, yeah, it's got the bits. You might be able to get a bit with a bit of practice, but I wouldn't have persisted. It's uh, yeah, it's early '80s game, so I let it off. I don't, I don't particularly like it. So I hope you like to look, uh, looking at that game at least. That was Cuddly Cubert. Is he cuddly? No. Published by Interceptor Software in 1983 on the ZX Spectrum. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, anything retro or Cubert, then put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. I've dropped a teapot. I've fallen down a well. I've got on the wrong bus and it's gone to hell.